Hi, this is Sarah. Welcome to the second episode of Adventures of a Black Woman Sailor. Uh, tonight we're going to pick up where we left off on Thursday night. I am recording the bow of my Rossin 30 sailboat and I was going to make a template for the Kusa board that I'm going to put in where the balsa wood used to be. But I ran into a hang up because the edge of the fiberglass on the um, on the edge of the of the edge of the roof around here was jagged, and I needed it to be smooth so that I can keep track of the point where I'm putting my contour tool to measure the curve of the side of the hull. So I needed to use a tool called the Fine Multi Master to do that, and I didn't have it on the boat. So today I went to work and I borrowed the tool and now I'm going to put on my respirator and uh, use it to clean up those edges. When I said during the last episode that the surface was irregular along the side of the hull, I now see that that's because there was an extra layer of fiberglass in there just for extra reinforcement and I am able to saw that out and in its place is a deep gap that goes right to the edge of the hull. And I don't think I'm even going to need my contour tool because I'm measuring along it with a ruler and pretty consistently I'm getting a two and a half inch reading. So I think it is, I think it is regular now. And if I can just saw out that second layer of fiberglass all along the side of the lip, I should be able to cut the Kusa board, um, uh, cut the Kusa board according to this roof and then just add a two and a half inch alongside of it all along the outside and that should be pretty close and then if it's not I can just trim it down as I need to and I can also just add some epoxy behind it where I need to fill in some spaces if it comes up short. <laughs> with the sanding and sawing phase of this project 
and that has put massive amounts of dust, not only in the air, but on every surface of this boat. I can't come in here for more than five minutes without a respirator, without getting a headache. So I decided to invest in a rigid, wet, dry vac. It's got a five peak horsepower, 12 gallon capacity. It's my first shop vac, yay. I'm super excited about it. I don't think there is another milestone in a girl's life quite like when she gets her first shop vac. So uh, let's go see if it works. <laughs> was so powerful that it was hard to unstick the brush attachment or move it around on the surfaces that I was vacuuming. And that is not a complaint, but with power comes responsibility. And kind of like that time uh, when I got my first pressure washer and I pressure washed the teak on my Catalina 27, thereby creating jaggedy grooves all throughout the wood. Today I vacuumed my rug and this pulled a lot of the threads out of the rug. So lesson learned, but I'm really happy with the vacuum. The air quality on this boat is great right now. I sat in the V-berth for half an hour without getting the slightest headache. And I think now I'm ready to move on to the next phase of this project, which is creating the template for the KUSA board and then buying the KUSA board and cutting it out. So that's going to be the next episode and I will see you then.